and welcome to Joy News Interactive. It's a new week, which means new goals, a new vision, and a way to, a great way to start the week. Remember to go confidently in the directions of your dream. I am Mapito Sibiri, and I am fired up for today's edition of Joy News Interactive. We're live on Joy News on Multi TV, DSTV Channel 41, and Go TV Channel 144. On Facebook and Twitter, we are Joy News on TV. Let's start with an issue that's been reported differently by the various media houses. It's all about an interview with President Akuf Ado granted Al Jazeera. Watch this first. Homosexuality, for example, which I believe is illegal and it's punishable. I mean, why is homosexuality still illegal in your country? Um, these, the, the social, cultural issues, if you like, um, I don't believe that in Ghana so far a sufficiently strong coalition has emerged which is having that impact on public opinion that will say change it. Let's then have a new paradigm in Ghana. Is and that it, something you would get behind I with? think I think that it is something that is bound to happen and when that happens... What's going to provoke it? What's going to make it happen? Oh, it's, it's the activity, like, like, like elsewhere in the world, like elsewhere in the world, the activities of individuals, of groups. I, I, I grew up in England. I went to school as a young boy in England, and I grew up at the time in England when homosexuality was banned there. It was, it was illegal. And I lived the period when uh, British politicians thought it was, it was anathema even to think about uh, changing the law. And then suddenly the activities of individuals, of groups, a, a certain awareness, a certain development grew and grew and grew stronger. And it forced a change in law. I believe that those are the same processes that will bring about changes uh, in our situation. Uh, at the moment, I don't feel, I don't see that in Ghana there is that uh, strong current of opinion that is saying this is something that we need even deal with. It's not, it doesn't, it, it, it's not so far a matter which is on the agenda. So this debate, I think, will never end. But let's see what you guys think. What did the president really mean but what, but what he said? So Tomasi Reynolds says, okay, so he quotes Atta Mills, who said he won't, and John Mahama, who says, I can't accept this on grounds of human rights, and the current president, Nanado, who says it is bound to happen. Uh, let's see, there are six replies to Tomasi's comment. Let's see if we can take those. Well, Idrisu Harris says, um, this is a matter of law, and if we as people decide that this is what we want, okay. So the replies are not, okay, so let's see from Papa Kwesi says, Muhammad's good friend, who so Mahama's good friend, who supported his book launch, is a gay. Mahama first with, okay, we're not going to read that comment. Uh, Bernard Yabo says, there's nothing ambiguous about what the president said. Maybe Akuf Ado supports homosexuality secretly. All oh, right. Uh, Idrusi uh, Harris says, uh, this is a matter of law, and if we as people decide this is what we want to do, then we take it through Parliament. This thing about being courageous or bold is neither here nor there. Let's see if we can take more comments on that issue. And Abdul Garaf, who says, okay, we'll take Alpha, Babs, who says, I don't understand why people should be too concerned about what two adults do with their body. It doesn't affect you anyways. Why don't we respect the rights of others? Exactly. It, should, it surely happens. If this is not the generation, then the next generation or two. Uh, let's take the comment from Abdul, who says, is government... Uh, let's go up for Abdul. Okay, so let's talk to lawyer Samson Ayenini. Uh, hello, Samson. Hi. Thanks for joining us on Joy News Interactive. So the Constitution Review Committee recommended that we go to the Supreme Court to get finality on this matter. Now we have heard from the Christian Council and some other religious bodies who want clarity on the matter. What should our nation direction be as now? What should we do as Ghana? start with the Constitution Review Committee was emphatic that there was 
overwhelming opinion from Ghanaians mm -hmm. who uh, brought presentations to it and who came to it and made their and made their views known that it was wrong to uh, allow a provision. Um, it, it was wrong to allow homosexuality in Ghana by law. And actually, they asked the commission to make a provision for amendment in the constitution. That is the first law of the country and the most important law, supreme law in the constitution, clearly prohibits and criminalize homosexual acts. Now, after they have, you know, um, examined all the submissions that were made about the fact that it was against our culture, it was uh, against God's law, mm -hmm. and I'm quoting what the, the people said yeah. in the, before the commission and all of that, mm -hmm. they came to the conclusion that, in fact, our law in Section 104 of the Criminal and Other Offenses Act criminalizes an aspect of homosexual behavior, which is lesbianism, mm -hmm. and all other acts that are deemed to be unnatural sexual conduct. Now, unnatural sexual conduct in common law is defined to mean uh, uh, penal penetration of anything other than the vagina. So anytime the penis is used for, for penetration of anything other than the vagina, then there is unnatural carnal knowledge or unnatural sexual conduct. Yes. which our law prohibits. Mm -hmm. Now you find that it is only men who may get into, you know, penetrating and penetrating anus or some other uh, 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 aspect. Yes. So it is against an aspect of gay, gay, uh, gay act, mm -hmm. but not against lesbianism. And the, 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 the commission said, let's not put it in our constitution, let's not do anything about it. If anybody at any time has any issue, let them go to the Supreme Court, and mm -hmm. the Supreme Court will rule on it. Mm -hmm. I say no. They failed that when they did that. Mm -hmm. The recommendation should not be if any time anybody wants, they should go to the court, and then the court should say what the law is. The court cannot say more than what it is, what is found in the law. The court will interpret what is in the law, and what is in the law is clear enough. Mm -hmm. So we need to now take a bold decision to ask ourselves, what do we want? If we want to proscribe and criminalize homosexual behavior, now let's provide for it comprehensively in the law. If we do not want it, we should say so. If we want it, we should say so. Mm -hmm. But obviously, the general view, I mean, there is there's just a groundswell of opinion in this country that is clearly against homosexual you know, homosexuality. Mm -hmm. And if we need to take a step, it should be a step towards amending Section 104 of the Criminal Offenses Act that comprehensively captures all homosexual acts. Mm -hmm. So what do you personally make of what the president said? What the president said mm -hmm. obviously um, gives an indication that, well, you know what, it is not an important matter now because mm -hmm. it's not on the front burner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At any point in time, if there is pressure for it, then the discussion will be what? Mm -hmm. Invoked. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so we're looking at what we should do. I, I, don't, I don't think we should wait for that. We don't do that. Okay. You can take care of the future. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't sit and wait until something comes up. When you can, you can take steps to take care of what must come up. Yeah. When we make laws, we actually make laws, and sometimes the laws anticipate what will happen in future and so we take care of it so i think um that is neither here nor there we should take the, the what we feel uh we want to do and do it now L lawyer samson are Ghanaians overreacting to the president's response to the question posed by the al jazeera host i didn't hear that i was saying are Ghanaians overreacting to the president's response well, mm -hmm. this is not new to me. That mm -hmm. This matter has come up over and again. And mm -hmm. we just get into this ritual of propagandizing the debate. Mm -hmm. Don't get anything out of it. Let the politicians just shut up and allow the experts, the professionals mm -hmm. in, the, in these areas of the law 
to look at the legal policy going forward rather than leave it to the politicians. The politicians will say, okay, this president is saying this. The former president was more categorical mm -hmm. and said he would not allow any such thing under his watch. Well, I mean, wh where does that benefit us? There's no benefit if all of it is just talk and it doesn't end in what Ghanaians really want to express. And if you have heard for money, I, 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 I dump my hat for him because he said, yes. for example, that, look, we, we are practicing, um, we are practicing uh, polygamy in Africa. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. In, in the West, that is unlawful, that is illegal. Mm. How can they now want to seek to, to dictate to us how we, we should govern our life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, if that is the case, why don't they also allow polygamy? It is unlawful in their, in their, in, 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 for them. Yes. And it remains unlawful. Uh -huh. Polygamy is not a crime in, 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 in much, most of Africa. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So there are social issues also. Okay. So this is a debate that will take forever. It's been happening for a while. It's going to continue happening. It shouldn't so take forever. We should make a decision. We should be bold and say to those who want to... Uh, force it down the, our throat mm -hmm. that we don't want it because that's what the majority of Ghanaians say mm -hmm. we don't want it it's as simple as that why can't we say that to, to the West okay thank you for your time lawyer Samson uh, so let's see how this is being talked about on Twitter uh, at big boss Dennis who says the Crystal Council no go talk against anything till it be homosexuality your pastors they fraud niggers but you get no voice on that. Let's take more comments on homosexuality. Uh, Kwabena Sisil says, Dear President Akuf Adu, nothing is bound to happen. We won't tolerate any homosexuality agitations in this country. We are already suffering and we won't allow some few people whose sexual orientation is misguided to invite the wrath of God on us. So... Uh, let's move on to the free SHS program, which is still being criticized, especially by members of the opposition in DC. The latest, policy, the latest person to criticize the policy is former President John Dramani Mahama, and he says the challenges with the free SHS education policy will not cease unless there's a comprehensive funding strategy. Mr. Mahama thinks the creation of the Voluntary Contribution Fund to solicit the support of Ghanaians will not help at the NDC Unity Walk held in the western regional town of Takwa on Saturday. He emphasized the need for a consultative for forum to discuss funding options for the policy as this was done prior to the establishment of the Ghana Education Trust Fund. So let's see what you have been saying on Facebook at Proxy Technology says, so is he hoping that it won't be successful? If someone is doing good, the best is yet is to help or encourage. And Samuel Obeng says, John, jo John Mahama and his incompetent team are dreaming. Okay, uh, Brian Jeremiah says, as far as there's political will, the free SHS policy will surely be successful. Tumasi Reynolds says, in Nana, we trust it will be successful. Let's see if we can take more comments on the free senior high school policy. Comment from um, Isaac Oduro says, Nay says, and Timo Boating who says, dead goats. So we're going to take a quick breather. We'll be right back. Welcome back from the break. Uh, you're still watching Joy News Interactive. Remember, we're live on DSTV channel 421 and Go TV channel 144. On Facebook and Twitter, we are Joy News on TV. So it is 2017 and many would have thought that slave trade is a thing of the past. In case you missed it, here's the CNN report. <laughs> A man addressing an unseen crowd. Big strong boys for farm work, he says. 400. 
800. The numbers roll in. These men are sold for 1,200 Libyan pounds, $400 a piece. You are watching an auction of human beings. Another man claiming to be a buyer. Off camera, someone asks, what happened to the ones from Niger? Sold off, he's told. CNN was sent this footage by contact. After months of working, we were able to verify the authenticity of what you see here. We decided to travel to Libya to try and see for ourselves. We're now in Tripoli and we're starting to get a little bit more of a sense of how this all works. Our contacts are telling us that there are one to two of these auctions every month and that there is one happening in the next few hours. So we're going to head out of town and see if we can get some sort of access to it. For the safety of our contacts, we have agreed not to divulge the location of this auction, but the town we're driving to isn't the only one. Night falls. We travel through nondescript suburban neighborhoods, pretending to look for a missing person. So what you just watched there was an auction of human beings. Let's take some of your comments on this sad issue at uh, FKM Dunho says, I think slavery is better than being gay, okay. Ernest Jamal Salom says, slavery is now a choice. Uh, let's see if we can get more comments on that. At uh, Nasir Hassin says, if not for the innocent ones, Libya is being paid in their own coin. They ignorantly helped USA to oust the man in the name of democracy, but ended up killing him. The blood of Gaddafi will continue to haunt them. Uh, God knows, Billy says, you see, the UN, ECOWAS, and AU are nothing but a mere union of head of states that come together to cover each other's wrongdoings. And if you don't seem to toe their line, they eliminate you like Gaddafi. The ECOWAS and the AU are the most useless unions ever formed. They should tell us one thing that they have achieved and proud of since its existence. These unions need to be discarded so that we can think about something better in the future. Ernest Corona says, why did they go there knowing the risk involved? World leaders should intervene and help them go to Italy. I Jaman says, since Gaddafi passed away in Libya, it has turned upside down and racism is all over the place. Uh, Julian Soti says, what is the African Union doing about this? That's what we're asking. And Mensa Chris says, slavery in this modern world? This is absolutely okay. Kweku um, Andrea says, hmm, the president is not interested in this, but rather gays will leave to see. All right. Tomasi Reynolds says, in 21st century, hmm, okay, our last comment we're going to take is Pepe Lincoln, who says, Arabs are by nature, okay, we won't read that comment on air. All right. Moving along. It's Monday, and I'm sure your brain is still sleepy. I mean, it's 11.24. So let's get it breaking with this riddle. So it's, I am a word. I mean a friend. If you take my second letter away, I become an enemy. What word am I? I must confess, it took me about a good five minutes to get this riddle. So let's see if we can take your comments on the riddle. It says, I am a word. I mean a friend. If you take my second letter away, I become an enemy. What word am I? Let's see at uh, comments. At Kwamena Jones, who says, a minute of silence for all those who came to the comments column to spy answers. Uh, Baba Abdullah says, still meditating. Kweku uh, Palm says, friend makes fiend. Okay. And Godson Valanio says, very hard for me, old Charlie. Uh, let's see what Citizen Kwesi says. He says it's a fiend. Let's see if we can get more comments on the word. So you take the R out and you will get fiend, which means enemy. Let's see if we can get two more people. Uh, Percy says, 
wake up people we are being lied to cheated and robbed and are existing okay we want the answer we want the answer he's not giving us the answer at uh, really really guys okay so the answer is friend right so if you take out the r out you'll get fiend which means enemy so the answer is friend that is all for the joy news interactive team remember to catch us on facebook and twitter we are joy news on tv i am Mapita cvd wishing you a great week <laughs>